Now, let's turn our attention to the captivating Ileana Marie Edwana, who proudly carries the banner as our representative for Miss Earth 2023. Hello community! Welcome back to our channel. Radiating with captivating charm and undeniable charisma, she shared a noteworthy statement during a recent sashing ceremony, as expressed in her Instagram post, Today, I am officially sashed. Representing my beloved Philippines for the first time on an international stage for my first love is a surreal feeling. For the preliminary competition she wowed the crowd with the creation from Ken Bettino and Jevin Selese. The gown, aptly named Healing the Earth, symbolizes the effort to bridge the gap between intentions and actions in environmental conservation. Crafted from hundreds of recycled zippers, this gown embodies the culmination of bridging the divide between plans to safeguard our Mother Earth and the actual implementation of those plans. It serves as a powerful statement that achieving lasting balance and sustainability on Earth requires more than just the efforts of an individual, it necessitates collective action and commitment. Having been crowned Miss Earth Philippines 2023 in April by her predecessor Jenny Ramp, hailing from Sinaloan, Laguna, Ileana Marie Edwana pursued her education as a dedicated scholar. She successfully earned her Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology from Centro Escolar University in 2018 and achieved success by passing the Medical Technologist Licensure Examination in the same year. She is now representing the Philippines in Miss Earth's pre-pageant events and the Grand Coronation Night on December 22 at the Saigon Exhibition and Convention Center in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. In her introduction video, Yana shares the inspiring narrative of a small-town dreamer who grew up surrounded by breathtaking scenery. And not too long ago, our Miss Earth Queen had a notable opportunity to address delegates at the United Nations Global Conference in New York. During her speech, she highlighted the disheartening reality that a considerable number of Filipinos remain uninformed about the organization's objectives for sustainable development. The UN event was a conference attended by ministers, as well as high-level representatives from government, business, and civil society across 140 countries, all united in their aim to advocate for comprehensive and expedited action on climate issues and the Sustainable Development Goals SDGs. During her impactful speech, she shed light on the disheartening reality that a significant number of Filipinos remain uninformed about the organization's sustainable development goals. All the way here from the Philippines to attend this conference. So before being a beauty queen, I am also a scientist and uh, an advocate of the earth. So what I do is I travel to different sectors in the Philippines to talk about the world development goals and their interconnectedness to the nature. And one thing I have observed in the Philippines is that most students actually do not have any idea about it. So that's a very disheartening reality. But what I do, what I do is I take my best effort to go over different sectors to talk about it. And being at this conference really makes me happy because I know that I get to have a takeaway and, uh, you know, a knowledge that I can share to those Filipino children. Teacher looks like. And these Filipino children and children all over the planet are our future. So I inspire them all the time. Thank you. Thank you for using your uh, platform so constructively. And the Philippines is very climate vulnerable, but also has been very active in the climate world for a long time. In her Instagram, she expressed her gratitude for the opportunity to raise the flag of the Philippines at the UN conference as Miss Earth Philippines 2023. She posted, Ultimately grateful that I was also given a chance to raise the flag of the Philippines at the UN conference as your reigning Miss Earth Philippines by sharing my experience, know-how, and insight on my end during the parallel session. I focused on sharing how I observed that most of students and audience do not have an idea about the synergy of SDGs and climate action. And I personally can't blame them. Especially in the Philippines where we experience a high rate of poverty, hunger, and medical problems, climate action may possibly be perceived to be least of their priorities. But this is what I do as a spokesperson of the climate and SDG. I bring about awareness on their interconnectedness and how prioritizing climate action can provide solutions for poverty, hunger, job loss, and other problems that we experience in the Philippines that will in turn, pave way to a more productive and progressive country. And I will always use my platform to talk about it so we can all understand how imperative it is. You too have a platform. Make use of it and make the most out of it. This is Ileana Marie Edwana, your Miss Earth Philippines 2023. 
What are your thoughts on Ileana Marie Edwana's prospects of securing the Miss Earth 2023 crown? Numerous pageant enthusiasts assert that Edwana stands a significant chance of emerging victorious, particularly considering her remarkable performance in the national pageant. Do you believe Ilana has what it takes to reclaim the coveted title for the Philippines? Share your insights in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. Remember to embrace your uniqueness and strive for greatness. This is Shale of Shale Dell Entertainment.